This is On Track with Sayat, the series where each week we invite some of the best artists to create a unique EP recording straight to vinyl. In just three hours, they will produce and walk away with an exclusive 12-inch, including a cover of one of their favourite all-time tracks. This week, it's the turn of London four-piece Bombay Bicycle Club. I think recording straight to vinyl is definitely a lost art form. I mean, it's even rare for a band to be in the same room now, I think, a lot of the time. And um, when they're recording, they'll just do it piece by piece. It is a moment, and if you do it slowly over a few days, it's, it's several moments. It's, it's more real. The bands have to be really well rehearsed when they come here. There's no room for error, really. They've got to be able to play their songs all the way through in a manner that feels like they would on a, on a produced record. There's no way we can come in and fix something like we would normally. They have to be able to play the songs um, as they want to go out first time, which is quite tough on them. Sitting upright, can't explain the sunlight Wondering why you're not home The light go beside you, left before you tried to Work out all the unknowns Blame it all on me when I forget to defend Everything that we put down Something in her word and I cannot help searching For what memory found Thought it stopped just as it starts That is not what you are You're a layer of my clothes Made of ivy and gold In the hallway, bite your lip when I say Never have you left my mind Stop and think it over Smile, they're moving closer Oh, what delicate times Blame it all on me when I forget to defend Everything that we put down Something in her word And I guess she was just searching For some laudatory sound Thought it stop just as it starts That is not what you are You're a layer of my clothes Made of ivy and gold cover that we did, which is Motel Blues by Loudon Wainwright the third. I actually f discovered it um, in a record shop, just looking through, I was thinking it was like a bargain bin or something. I hope he, d he doesn't hear that, because he doesn't deserve to be in the bargain bin. But I just went home and played it and fell in love with this track. And one of the lyrics is, I'll put you on my next LP. So, you know, it's all about what the message of this program. <laughs> Not that I had any, I had thought of that, about that before today, but it was a nice coincidence. In the 
this town television shuts off at two What can a lonely rock and roller do? Oh, the beds are big and the sheets are clean Your girlfriend said you were 19 The styrofoam ice buckets full of ice Come up to my motel room and treat me nice I don't want to make no late night New York calls I don't want to stare at them ugly grass mat walls Chronologically I know you're young but When you kissed me in the club you bit my tongue I'll write you a song and I'll put it on my next LP Come up to my motel room and sleep with me I've been collecting vinyl for about five years. I think it's like collecting anything. At one point, it's just like you get so into it. I just have a really old suitcase record player, which makes everything sound really dusty and crackly, and I just listen to jazz and blues. And it's more about the ritual of listening to music than just putting on shuffle on your, your iPod. There's a Bible in the drawer, don't be afraid. People that do buy vinyl, are so passionate about it, they can still make it survive. They're so much more passionate than anyone else about music, the people that go out and go to the record shops and buy it. Never mind those desk clerk scowls out. Our work looks so much nicer. Instead of just downloading it in five seconds and listening to it, which sort of makes music more disposable, you can just quickly delete it. This, you might be more inclined to give it a chance if you play it from start to finish on a record player. It's actually a product, it's the whole thing. It's not just the, the hit single that you download off, off the internet. It makes bands think more about the album as a whole rather than just... Nowadays, you, you can get massive with just a few songs. I've always had respect for any musician that had to record in the 60s. Like, even, even when you had to record on tape, you definitely have to be a more competent <laughs> musician to do it. We've been chatting about the next album and how we'd like to do it differently, and how we'd like to have more of just us in a room. going upstairs to look at the vinyl afterwards. Um, it was like you had to concentrate on so many things at once. And then when you think too much about things, that's when you make mistakes. So 
you were telling yourself not to think. Maybe being really absolutely terrified helped us, you know, gives it a bit of a urgency. Turn in your head to mine instead. Gave me the eyes burning light. There's something a lot better about being in a room together, recording live, than that is just playing your part alone with everyone watching you, waiting for you to make a mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were really excited about today. It was just sounded like a nice idea to get bands to do that. Um, yeah, I think it's a good way of recording. I look forward to going, going home and putting on my record there.